Imagine you're sitting in your window seat on a commercial airplane, eagerly awaiting takeoff. You feel the plane begin to move down the runway, and then suddenly, you're lifted off the ground, soaring high into the sky. But have you ever wondered how this massive machine manages to defy gravity and stay up there? The answer lies in the complex and powerful engines that propel the plane. From the tiny propeller on a small Cessna to the mammoth turbines on a Boeing 747, aircraft engines are truly remarkable feats of engineering. In today's video, we'll take a closer look at how these engines work and how they make it possible for us to travel vast distances in the air. So fasten your seatbelt and let's dive in. To answer the question of how plane engines work in a summarized way, we would say plane engines work by taking in air from the atmosphere, compressing it, adding fuel, and then igniting it to create a high temperature, high pressure gas that is expelled out the back of the engine to create thrust. Meaning plane engines, also known as aircraft engines, work by converting fuel into mechanical energy that propels the aircraft through the air. Now the details. The process of powering an aircraft's engines and creating the necessary thrust to lift it into the sky and keep it moving through the air is an incredibly complex one. At the heart of the process is the engine's compressor, which serves the critical function of taking in air from the atmosphere and compressing it to high pressure. This high pressure air is then mixed with fuel in the combustion chamber, where it is ignited to create a high temperature, high pressure gas. The fuel is usually a hydrocarbon, which is introduced to the compressed air and then ignited and burnt generating a hot, high-pressure gas which in turn creates the necessary force to move the aircraft forward. The force of this gas is what ultimately creates the thrust that propels the airplane forward. The exhaust gases are expelled out the back of the engine, creating a jet of hot gas that propels the aircraft through the air. The jet of hot gas is directed backward using nozzles or other components, which provide additional control over the direction and speed of the aircraft. The amount of thrust that is generated by an aircraft's engine is influenced by several factors. These include the size and type of engine, the amount of fuel being burned, the speed of the aircraft, and the altitude at which it is flying. For example, a larger engine will generally produce more thrust than a smaller one, while the amount of fuel burned will affect the temperature and pressure of the gas produced. The speed of the aircraft will also have an impact on the amount of thrust required, as will the altitude at which it is flying as thinner air at higher altitudes requires a different level of thrust to lift the aircraft. Airplane engines come in a variety of types, each with its unique characteristics and operating principles. The most common types of airplane engines are piston engines, gas turbine engines, and electric engines. Let's look at how each of them works. Number 1. Piston Engines Piston engines have been around for more than a century, and they continue to be widely used in a variety of applications, including aviation, automobiles, and boats. In the realm of aviation, piston engines are the oldest and most common type of engine used in aircraft. They are known for their simplicity, reliability, and durability. At the heart of the piston engine is a series of cylinders, each of which houses a piston that moves up and down inside it. The pistons are connected to a crankshaft, which is the main power output of the engine. As the pistons move up and down in the cylinders, they compress a mixture of fuel and air. When the piston reaches the top of its stroke, a spark plug ignites the fuel, creating a controlled explosion that drives the piston back down. The movement of the piston is transferred to the crankshaft, which rotates as the piston moves up and down. The rotation of the crankshaft is what ultimately turns the propeller or rotor on an aircraft, generating the necessary thrust to lift the plane off the ground and keep it in the air. One of the key advantages of piston engines is their relative simplicity. Unlike some other types of engines, piston engines have relatively few moving parts, which makes them easier to maintain and repair. They are also known for their reliability, which is essential in aviation, where a mechanical failure can be catastrophic. Despite their advantages, piston engines do have some drawbacks. They are less fuel efficient than other types of engines, which can be a significant disadvantage in aviation, where fuel costs are a major expense. They are also somewhat limited in terms of the amount of power they can produce, which can be a problem for larger, heavier aircraft. Although there are these limitations, piston engines remain an important part of the aviation industry, and they are likely to continue to be used for many years to come. Advances in technology, such as fuel injection and electronic engine control systems, have made them more efficient and reliable than ever before, and they continue to be a popular choice for some small to medium-sized aircraft. Number 2. Gas Turbine Engines Gas turbine engines, commonly referred to as jet engines, have been the primary type of propulsion for most commercial and military aircraft since the 1950s. They are also used in marine vessels and power generation applications. 
The principles of the gas turbine engines are based on the Brayton cycle, a thermodynamic cycle that involves compressing a gas, heating it at a constant pressure, and then expanding it to perform work. In a gas turbine engine, the air is sucked into the engine and compressed by a series of rotating compressor blades. The compressed air is then directed into a combustion chamber, where the fuel is injected and ignited. This ignites the compressed air, producing a high temperature, high pressure stream of gas that expands rapidly, driving the turbine blades. The turbine blades are connected to a shaft, which in turn drives the compressor and a fan that provides additional thrust. Gas turbine engines are incredibly powerful and efficient, making them a popular choice for aviation. They are capable of producing a large amount of thrust with a relatively small amount of fuel, making them more fuel efficient than piston engines. They are also lighter in weight and have a higher power to weight ratio, which makes them ideal for use in aircraft. An additional advantage of gas turbine engines is that they can operate at high altitudes and in extreme weather conditions. They are not affected by changes in atmospheric pressure or temperature, which makes them ideal for use in high altitude flights, as well as in hot and cold weather conditions. However, gas turbine engines are more complex and expensive to manufacture and maintain than piston engines. They require precise engineering and manufacturing tolerances to operate effectively, and regular maintenance is required to keep them in good working order. Additionally, they can be relatively noisy, which has led to concerns about their environmental impact. Despite these challenges, gas turbine engines remain a critical technology for aviation. Advances in materials, manufacturing processes, and engine control systems have made them more efficient and reliable than ever before and ongoing research is focused on making them even more efficient and environmentally friendly. And finally, three, electric engines. Electric engines have gained increasing attention in recent years as the aviation industry seeks more sustainable and environmentally friendly alternatives to traditional combustion engines. Electric airplane engines offer numerous benefits, including reduced emissions, increased efficiency, and improved performance. Electric engines work by using electrical energy to produce mechanical energy. The electrical energy is stored in batteries or fuel cells, which then power the electric motor. In an electric engine, the motor is directly connected to the propeller or rotor, eliminating the need for a transmission. This results in a simpler and more efficient system that can deliver high amounts of power and torque. The most prominent advantage of electric engines is their reduced emissions. Unlike traditional engines that burn fossil fuels, electric engines produce no emissions when in use. This means that they are much cleaner and more environmentally friendly, and they can help to reduce the carbon footprint of the aviation industry. Electric engines also offer increased efficiency. Traditional engines are often only about 25 to 30 percent efficient, with the majority of the energy being lost as heat. In contrast, electric engines are typically 80 to 90 percent efficient, with very little energy loss. This increased efficiency means that electric engines can travel further on the same amount of energy, which can help to reduce costs and increase the range of electric-powered aircraft. In addition to their environmental and efficiency benefits, electric engines offer improved performance. They can provide instant torque and acceleration, making them ideal for use in short takeoff and landing stall aircraft. They also operate much quieter than traditional engines, which can help to reduce noise pollution in communities surrounding airports. However, like other types, electric engines also face some challenges. One of the biggest cons is the limited range and energy storage capacity of the current battery technology. Batteries can be heavy and take up a significant amount of space, which can limit the range and payload capacity of electric aircraft. The cost of electric engines can also be higher than traditional engines, although ongoing research and development are helping to reduce these costs over time. Despite these issues, the aviation industry is continuing to invest in and explore electric engine technology. Advances in battery technology, materials science, and engineering are helping to improve the efficiency and performance of electric engines, and ongoing research and development are focused on finding new ways to overcome the limitations of current technology. With further advancements, electric engines have the potential to revolutionize the aviation industry and provide a more sustainable and environmentally friendly alternative to traditional combustion engines. And that's everything about how plane engines work. Hopefully, this video has been able to give you answers to your intrigue. If you have any other questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. See you in the next video.